Part 2. Verdant Wind. Garland Moon. Conclusion of the Crossing Roads. On the streets of the Imperial Capital, Alliance forces crush Edelgard's army and take up the perimeter of the Imperial Palace. The time has come to face Emperor Edelgard and to free Rhea from her clutches. Is everyone ready? The objective of this battle is to defeat Edelgard and rescue Rhea. According to the information Dedu gave us, the throne room is directly north of the castle's main entrance. It's safe to assume that's where Edelgard is. She's a fellow student to all of us. If there's a path that we can walk together, that would be preferable. But that all depends on Edelgard. If she won't yield, then that's that. If showing pity would put my allies in danger, I will not hesitate to kill her. I ask that you and everyone here prepare yourselves to do the same. Understood. I think I speak for everyone when I say that we are prepared. The future of the Alliance. No, of Fodlan is at stake. I have been prepared for this my whole life. Captain Gerald taught me that indecisiveness is a weakness. One must cast aside their doubts before fighting. The lives of Lady Rhea and everyone here are more important than all else. I shall be prepared. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if she took one look at my overstuffed muscles and surrendered in tears then and there. I really hope that Edelgard will yield. <sighs> Edelgard is a stubborn one. I don't think she's likely to surrender. Goddess, please protect us. I... I'll fight with all I got to save Lady Rhea. Rescuing Lady Rhea is my dearest wish. We must prevail no matter what it takes. In the name of the Knights of Seros, we'll bring the hammer down on the Imperial Army. Satisfied yet, boy? Everyone made up their minds a long time ago. Okay, let's get started. We're yours to command, my friend. Everyone, take your positions. The battle is upon us. Harness this new power.
They've made it into the palace, but it's actually the perfect chance to turn the tables on them. Defeating them all will turn the tide of war instantly. Taking a risk on dragging us back from the brink is the only option. Everyone, prepare for a bitter struggle. Victory to the Adrestian Empire! There are more enemies inside the palace than I thought. It's gonna take a lot to bring this situation under control. But if we defeat Edelgard, then victory is ours. Everyone, let's go! Our bashful little emperor has locked herself up behind the door of the throne room. The key should be around here somewhere. We need to find whoever's got it and take them out. Let's go. I've gotten stronger. My orders? I will prevail. I fight for justice's name. They're ready. Honored. Let's make this quick. Shall we? Steady now. You're a big help. What's my strategy? How to do's doing. I hope I get to see him again. Ah! 
I can exceed this. I can still fight. No time for mercy. I aspire to emulate you. Press on.
How about a curtsy? I'll keep pushing myself. That's what you get. It won't be in vain. from my sleeve. Steady now. Thank you. I can still fight. Alright. 
Who's next? my strategy. This could turn the tides. At the ready. My moment has arrived. I fought and won. I'm impressed. Best me. Let's go.
helps. Let's go. I fight for Lady Rhea. I can still fight. I will prevail. I'd be honored. Steady now. Apologies. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Form. I must confess, I never imagined that you would be able to pursue me this far. I don't mean to belittle your skills, Professor, but you've far surpassed my expectations. Inform the troops. Destroy anyone who sets foot in the throne room. Eliminated. Time to strategize. Oh, it never ends. How many more reinforcements are they gonna launch at us? If we don't block up the stairwells, it's never going to stop. What's my strategy? All is going to plan. At the ready.
still here. I need it. Amazing! Room to grow? Must lead them well.
Activate. So much. vanquish her alone so I will join you in this battle but if I fall leave me my only wish is for Edelgard's head
I'd be honored. I'd be honored. I'd be honored. At the ready. What's my strategy? Professor, I suppose you think you can defeat me, is that right? But I will never give up. Even if my arms and legs failed me, I would still find a way to move forward. I will smash that false goddess and her minion into the ground. I will fight to free this world from her vile grasp. It's time. Your ideals. I understand they're not so far removed from my own. But without sufficient knowledge of this land's suffering, I can't entrust Fodlin to you. Perhaps. I dare say it's true that I don't fully understand the history of Fodlin. Still, I've seen many things in my life. Don't worry. I'll finish the job for you. It's a bad time to die. Steady now. Much needed. I want to do my part. Survive. Let's make this quick. Lysithia, you and I are so alike. We could have walked the same path. We're alike? You don't mean to tell me. It can't be. Yet now we are at a crossroads. There's no turning back. Must we fight each other for the things we believe in? That's exactly what's going to happen. And I will defeat you, Edelgard! Each other. If you do not act now, this conflict will go on forever. Your path lies across my grave. It is time for you to find the courage to walk it. If I must fall, let it be by your hand. I want 
it. To walk with you. It's over. We were only able to beat her because of you. This wasn't the conclusion I had hoped for, even though I... Never mind. It's over now. The important thing is that we won. Here, boy. A letter. An Imperial General asked me to give it to you. A letter? Let's see it. It looks like it's from Hubert, Edelgard's vassal. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the Goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, it is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that. Lastly, while I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. Hubert, to leave a letter like this behind, you were a better man than I believed you to be. So, Rhea is alive, and the fight isn't over yet. Those who slither in the dark. It sounds like Fodlan will never know peace unless we defeat them. The allies of Monica and Tomas. Well, we knew about them already. I think it's safe to assume this is the same group who used Lysithia for their blood experiments. And they were also responsible for the javelins of light that destroyed the fortress. But who were these children of the Goddess who they supposedly resent? There's just not enough information here. I don't suppose there's any chance that this is his idea of a prank. If so, wow, good one. Hubert, rather than writing a letter, you should have just told us before we fought. Right. We still don't know for sure if this letter is telling the truth. Let's go find out. Come to save me. Is this... Is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Claude, I can see you have grown into a reliable young man. Thank you for supporting the Professor. And for rescuing me. Surely the protection of the Goddess has... Wait, Rhea. What do you know about the children of the Goddess? Children of... What is this about? Forgive my bluntness. Someone from the Empire filled us in on a few things. I know it must be painful for us to ask you difficult questions after such an arduous confinement. But we have no choice. We must defeat a secret enemy. Those who slither in the dark. Do you know about them? Those who slither in the dark? Apparently, they resent the children of the Goddess and the people of the world, and are planning something big, something terrible. 
They use blood for their wicked magic and are capable of dropping javelins of light from the sky, which are powerful enough to crush a fortress. If you can think of anything at all, please tell us now. We need to know as much as possible about these enemies in order to stop them. This is the critical moment that will determine whether or not Fodlin falls. Can't you see that the time for secrets has passed? It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He's the hero to whom the Goddess gave the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the Holy Tomb and stole the remains of the Progenitor God. When Nemesis appeared in Xenado some time later, he already wielded the Sword of the Creator. According to legend, the goddess gifted him the sword to fight against the evil gods. I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword, or why he appeared in Xanado, but he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the progenitor god. From their corpses he gained even more power, and brought war to Fodlin. That's completely different from what the legends tell us about Nemesis. A mere bandit like Nemesis, would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. Aha! So Nemesis had accomplices. And those accomplices must have been those who slither in the dark. They used Nemesis. And this time, they used the Imperial Army to once again bring war to Fodlin. I finally get it. And I even understand why Edelgard was associating with them. Just as they were trying to use the Empire, the Empire was trying to use them. Rhea, there's still a mountain of things I need to ask you, and I will, but I'll leave all of that for another day. You must be weak after living in confinement for so long. Please rest for a while. My friend, let's prepare for battle. We need to strike Shambhala as soon as possible. You must not allow Fodlin's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself. Hmm. It occurs to me that we never got an answer from Rhea about the children of the goddess. She did say that the people of the Red Canyon were the children of the progenitor god, so I suppose so. But those evil guys continued to plot their revenge even after the Red Canyon tragedy. Does that mean some of the children of the goddess or their descendants are still alive? Could be. She was talking about what happened in Xanado as if she was there herself. What are these children anyway? And how are they connected to the goddess? Ah, I almost disappeared into the bottomless swamp that is my mind. I thought that after we defeated the Empire, I'd be able to see that sight I longed to see. I've told you about my dreams before. I want to break down the wall separating Fodlin from the outside world. The sight I want to see lies beyond that. Honestly, it's a trivial thing to fixate on. Just people, gathered in their towns, living out their lives together, sometimes laughing, sometimes fighting. But the people living there aren't just citizens of Fodlin. There are people from Dagda, Bridget, and even Dusker and Srang. There could be people who were born in Almira, or countries even farther east there, too. All of those people living together like it's nothing special at all. That's the sight I long to see. It's so simple, but still so far away. But this is no time for complaining. We need to focus on capturing Shambhala. Let's hurry up and gather everyone together. So... You mean to tell me that Fodlin will fall to ruin if we leave those guys be? Um, if this map is reliable, their base is just south of my family's territory. This story is a bit much to believe. And yet... 
It does ring true, somehow. Remember Monica, the one who killed Gerald, and the old man who was masquerading as Tomas? They were their allies, and the Flame Emperor and the Death Knight were merely their pawns. The people who were after my blood? They were also the ones who used me to conduct their blood experiments. As awful as it sounds, they're seemingly fond of using blood in their secret techniques. Ugh, that's really gross. I could never be friends with someone like that. I believe they were also responsible for the Javelin of Light that destroyed Fort Mercy's. Hold up, boy. Do you really think that we can win against such powerful foes? I don't know. But we have to try, don't we? We've really taken on something big. I wonder if our names will go down in history. My heroic name? Passed down to future generations? <laughs> A worthy cause indeed. They were trying to use the Imperial Army to plunge Fodlin into war. But we nipped that in the bud. Now we just need to tear out their roots. And I know we have what it takes to do it. <laughs>